Looking for Diamond City? Just follow the signs. came from across the Charles? Long hike. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <gasps> I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. Ugh. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> I know you're listening, Danny. <sighs> Open the gate. <sighs> Hi. You. You want into Diamond City, right? Uh, what? Who are you? Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. This place, Diamond City. What is it? Oh, the green jewel? She's a sight. Everyone who's anyone in the Commonwealth is from here, settled here, <laughs> got kicked out of here. A big wall, some power, working plumbing, schools, and some security goons are what make Diamond City the big monster it is. <laughs> oh, love it or hate it. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Let's go. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant Mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. What newspaper are you talking about? Mine. Public occurrences. And we're the hard look at the truth. So are you with us or not? This really isn't any of my business. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money. Settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? What are you two arguing about, anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... <laughs> <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? What is this place, anyway? Why? This is the safest place in all the Commonwealth, with the strongest community and uh, highest standards of living available. We have stores, doctors, schools, power, running water, and the wall. 
as our sacred protector. You'll learn more about the wall soon, I'm sure. But I was talking about you. Come on now, what brought you all the way out here? Just looking for something. Oh, uh, what is it you're looking for? An infant boy. Kidnapped. Did you say kidnapped? Well, McDonough, Diamond City Security can investigate this. How about all the other kidnapping reports you uh, Don't heard? listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have time for any more questions. I'm a busy man. Enjoy your stay in our fair city. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates anything? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> Mmm, a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Officer? Head on inside. Hey. Danny. So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I wasn't lying. I got a whole supply train coming in tomorrow. Oh, of course you do. Now tell me the one about you and the fish that got away. Hey, what's brought you into town anyway? Be good to note it down in the logs. What's your take on Diamond City? It's safe is what it is. Diamond City's got the best security anywhere. Like to think I have a hand in that. But I was asking about you. Come on. Just need to jot the reason you're here down in the logs. Who would I talk to about finding a missing person? Oh, look, I'm sorry, but we're under orders not to get involved in missing person cases. There's a lot of institute paranoia right now. We can't really risk fanning those flames with official action. What if people panic? The institute? What's that? Ah, damn. Look, I really shouldn't have said that. They're just a scapegoat, all right? Something people blame when things go wrong. If you really want to know, there's a whole newspaper inside the city that won't stop talking about them. Public occurrences. I just need a little information, Danny. We can keep this off the record. I'm sorry, but I can't. I got orders. I'll ask somewhere else, then. Chin up. Maybe someone in town can help you? are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <sighs> the latest news from the Commonwealth. 